It's a musical that'll have you dancing and singing out of your seat. Summer, the Donna Summer Musical, is playing right now in San Francisco. It features more than 20 of Summer's greatest hits, but also tells the story of how Donna Summer broke down barriers to become an icon in the era of disco. The musical is about Donna's life and her legacy and the brilliance that she was. But we also tell you a, a bit of her story that you may not know. And, and we truly do kind of start at the beginning. We have three different Donnas, a duckling, a disco, and a diva. So I play Duckling Donna, which is Donna Summer, from about the age of 11 to around 15. And so I tell the story of how she first got her start and the love of singing that she had. She started out singing in church. She started out doing little um, performances in her living room for her family. I kind of pick up right when the bulk of her career starts. So she actually started her career in Germany. There's a little bit of a touch on the Germany where she plays um, in hair, and then she comes back to the U.S. and kind of blows up as this disco queen. And we go through two marriages, and she has um, a child, Mimi. So I play the later part of her years after she's peaked in her career or has established herself as this major icon and we get to see her in her later years like after that happens and you know we get into some kind of tough some tough like talks and some tough things but we see her become a mother and we get to see her live and revel in that iconic sort of place. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, where the national tour of Summer, the Donna Summer musical first launched. It's also where Donna Summer's daughter Mimi donated two of her mother's dresses. You might recognize one of them from the cover of this album. Of course, the cast of the musical was there to help celebrate the occasion. All right, I'm here right now with Mimi, Donna Summer's daughter. Yep. What did you think watching? Surreal is really the only answer that, you know, I can come up with. It's wonderful to watch the reaction of people and the audience members and to be able to share the story. Uh, but it's still very surreal when you're like, that's my life as well. And these are all the things that happened in our life. And we're sharing it with a thousand, thousands of people. And when it comes to her favorite parts of the show, it's not the dancing and singing, it's the scenes that involve family. The persona was something else, and it was amazing, but mom was really the person at home. It was, we were painting, and we were singing, and we were, you know, and we were, you know, she was doing funny stuff. We were cooking together. That was home. That was our life. She broke down so many barriers musically, racially, like as far as uh, making strides for women. I mean, just every glass ceiling Donna Summer shattered. And we show that in, throughout the show. I think Bad Girls into Hard for the Money is such an important section in the show because it really speaks to the struggle that she had in the industry with being taken advantage of and not quite getting her due. And it's something that still happens today. She really had to fight her way to this iconic place that she landed in and it's extremely powerful. She was relentless and you have to be, you have to be. Summer, the Donna Summer musical is playing at Broadway SF's Golden Gate Theater now through December 29th. For more information, go to broadwaysf.com. Yeah.